Good evening. What destroys a good man is power. Power behaves like alcohol. When you take a lot of it, it controls you instead of you controlling it. And the reason why a man in power need advisors is because when power gets into the head of the man, advisors must say, no, 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 don't go there. We are seeing with our eyes exactly what is happening. And I don't understand the reason why the president has advisors. But no one is telling him the right thing to do. The president has traveled to Israel. Look at his delegation. Just look at how many people that followed the president to Israel. In the first place, you ask yourself, what is there in Israel? What can Israel do for the people of Zambia? What has Israel done to any African country ever? There is nothing that Israel is going to offer the people of Zambia or offer Africa. These guys don't love Africa. These are like America, UK, France. They don't love Africa. They, there is absolutely nothing that these guys will bring to Africa. So why is the president traveling with such a number of people when his own country is going through financial crisis? Just today, the fear has been increased. Who are the people suffering? The poor people that voted for him, the poor people that we convinced to vote for the president are suffering. Why these guys are flying up and down? Just look at the delegation. Count the people that followed the president to Israel. What are they doing in Israel? I mean, the president has refused to visit China, a country that can help Zambia out of what they are going through now. And the president has taken, look, please, where are the advisors of this president what are they doing it's like these guys have been disconnected totally from reality people are going through hell and you are going to israel with 20 30 people even edgar lung we know as a waste as a wasteful president didn't behave like this what is there in israel there is nothing there in israel the president abandoned powerful traditional ceremony going on in the in the country and went to israel the catholic was celebrating 100 years of existence in i think in eastern province or, or where or, or Loapula. the president abandoned them he didn't attend the catholic program a powerful program 100 years old program the president left it president has run to israel with his wife and all this bloated how many people followed the wife the secretaries the families how many people followed the president privately all these people that are here how many people followed them privately who is paying for this is it not the is it not the people of zambia People of Zambia that are going through hell. President refused to embrace the Catholic. The Catholic that fought for him, he abandoned them. He refused to attend their program and they flew to Israel. What is he doing in Israel? What is there in Israel? Where are the advisors of the president? Who are the people that are leading this president? Who are the people that are giving him advice? 
completely detached from reality. A serious traditional ceremony was going on. The president did not go. Catholic in Zambia was having a great occasion. The president did not go. But the president went to Ghana to go and uh, have church service with SDA. I mean, come on. What is wrong? What is going on? What has happened? What is SDA? SDA that when a church was going through hell, they didn't open their mouth and say any single word. Now they invited the president in Ghana. The president went to church, SDA church in Ghana, spent taxpayers' money, carried a bloated delegate to Ghana, wasted millions upon millions upon millions Why people of Zambians are suffering. If SDA is that important, where were they when he was in opposition? The Catholic that fought for him are the... Look, I, I think even the president himself, I think he has given up. He doesn't want to rule, rule the country again. He doesn't care. And uh, we shall help him. We shall help him. Because really... I don't understand what is going on. We are a relationship between uh, between him and the Catholic is rotten. He cannot even try to mend it. He cannot even try to see what he can do. An opportunity presented himself to go very close to these guys and put this in order. He didn't go. He flew to Ghana to go and attend SDA service. SDA does not campaign. SDA does not care about people. They don't do politics. It is Catholic that does politics. Because they stand for the people. And now the president has gone to Israel. What is the president doing in Israel with this amount? Look at the people. We condemned the Digalungu for all these travels. What has happened to President HH? Eh? What has happened to him? Why is he flying like a bird, always on the air? You think that people are mad? It's just that the opposition in zambia is not yet organized if not by this time this guy should be packing because really everything we condemned edgar lunga about he has done it he has done it hundred over and in 2025 we are going to start pointing them one by one so that those people who don't understand will understand opposition in zambia just need their voice just one voice that will be able to point this thing to people. Fuel is increased. I mean, people of Zambia are suffering. Poor people cannot afford food. You are, they are busy destroying people's businesses, leave the street, leave the street, and you are increasing the fuel. How do you want them to survive? Government is about to destroy people's businesses in Comesa. How do you want them to survive? In an economy that is dying, a president is flying every minute is on the air and the people that are advising him will not tell him, sir, this is not good. People are crying on the ground. The situation at State House is different from the situation where you are. This is happening because the people that are supposed to advise the president are not advising him. He has Im the people that fought, the people that understand the cry of the people in the street are nowhere near the president. He has embraced his rich friends, his educated friends, those guys that have never stepped foot in Mrs., those guys that have never stepped foot on the street. Those are the people advising the president. Those guys that like flying, that are used to flying. That's why the president is flying. 